This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1422. Why is adopting an abundance mindset important? Part one, by Vicki Cook and Amy Blacklock of womenwhomoney.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. This is the show where I narrate posts from thought leaders in personal finance every single day of the year in 10 minutes or less. And before we get to it, I wanted to make sure you knew that we have a weekly newsletter sharing tips, tricks, advice, inspirational quotes, and more. It's a great way to show your support and totally free. Just enter your email address at oldpodcast.com to join. Now, today's post is actually broken up into two parts. So I'll be reading you half of the article today and we'll finish the rest tomorrow. So let's jump right into part one and continue optimizing your life. Why is Adopting an Abundance Mindset Important? Part 1 by Vicki Cook and Amy Blacklock of WomenWhoMoney.com As you navigate day-to-day life, you face plenty of challenges. Dealing with issues at work, at home, or with personal situations can be a real struggle. Another thing you might find difficult is accepting responsibility for your happiness and success. While you do plenty of things right, you may not realize you're setting up barriers to achievement and it can be tough living life within those restraints. Likely, that's never more apparent than when you think about your finances. Your mindset affects how you live your life. Are you one of the many people who look for someone or something to blame because you don't have enough of whatever it is that you want or need? Are you quick to say that you don't have enough money, financial security, or the right house or car? If that's the case, accepting that you can control your decisions and attitude can make a big difference. Your mindset can affect things like how you learn, manage stress, and handle risk. It impacts your social, emotional, physical, and financial health. If others attempt to put roadblocks in your way, take action and figure out how to get past those hurdles. If you allow them to confine you, it will be challenging to get ahead and build a financially secure future. While taking control sounds easy enough to do, it's harder for some than others. And that's where scarcity and abundance mindsets come into play. These mindsets can play a significant role in how you make decisions, how you spend, save, and invest your money, and how you go about living each day. Let's take a closer look at the principle of scarcity and abundance. If you have a scarcity mindset, you'll see why adopting an abundance mindset could change important parts of your life. The scarcity mindset. When you have a scarcity mindset or a scarcity mentality, you believe you don't have enough. You'll never have enough and that there's not much you can do about it. It's a fixed mindset where thinking out of the box and risk-taking isn't possible. Fear and low self-esteem hold people back from trying new things and advocating for themselves. A nothing good will come from it attitude prevents those with a scarcity mindset from negotiating their rent or for a raise. It stops them from applying for jobs with more responsibility and higher pay. It can also leave them very unfulfilled. With a scarcity mentality, you only focus on the present. Immediate and urgent needs are addressed at the expense of your future self. If you're not living paycheck to paycheck, you save extra money rather than investing it for long-term growth. With the scarcity mindset, there isn't enough money to do both, even if you're told to start small. There's always something to spend the money on instead. Stephen Covey's best-selling book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, describes the scarcity mentality as a zero-sum paradigm of life. When one wins, someone else loses. The pie is only so big. If you're lucky enough to get a piece, you keep it for yourself because it could be gone tomorrow. People with this mindset tend to live sad and frantic lives. They incur debt to avoid missing out on something they want or need today. They're takers, not givers, and they seldom, if ever, get the financial security they desire. They're jealous of others and what they have, ignoring any of their good fortunes. This can be a very discouraging way to live. The abundance mindset. Covey also coined the term abundance mindset or abundance mentality. In this paradigm, there's plenty out there and enough to spare for everybody. Compared to a scarcity mentality, it's certainly a more positive and optimistic outlook. Those who've adopted abundance mentalities aren't controlled by impulse and they readily share with others. 
They always have enough for today and tomorrow. If there's something they need or want, they'll figure out a way to get it. But they aren't in constant pursuit of things. Abundance creates freedom. With an abundance mindset, you dream and think big. You're a lifelong learner who always takes opportunities to add to your knowledge and skill set. But it isn't just about you. When those around you find success, your congratulations are sincere. As hard as change can be with an abundance mindset, it's much easier to embrace change, even complicated changes. You know life is dynamic and being future-oriented allows for more growth with an abundance mindset. Your cup half full attitude means there's room for different experiences in life, not just more of the same. Having an abundance mindset will help you assume some risk to build wealth, start the business of your dreams, apply for a leadership position, or return to school for the degree you still want, all while serving others. People who think abundantly have real financial security because they make things happen and go after what they want, and you'll enjoy being around them because of their positivity. Adopting an abundance mindset. Hear that in tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled, Why is Adopting an Abundance Mindset Important? by Vicki Cook and Amy Blacklock of womenwhomoney.com. And thank you to Pitney Bowes, Ship Like a Pro with Send Pro Online by Pitney Bowes. Send Pro Online is an easy to use solution that will allow you to buy postage and print shipping labels online at the office, at home, or on the go. It's what we use to mail our Optimal Living Daily Workbooks. We've sent hundreds easily with no issues. For as low as $4.99 a month, you'll save up to 40% off USPS Priority Mail. Plus, for being an Optimal Finance Daily listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. You can compare and choose the best rates across carriers and even schedule package pickups and track shipments from departure to arrival. Plus, calculate exact postage, print from your PC, and avoid trips to the post office. Go to pb.com slash OFD to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash OFD. Ship like a pro, simplify your shipping, and save with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. I think this post beautifully illustrates why mindset matters so much. Your thoughts create a chain reaction that eventually leads you to taking action and building the life you want. I've found that my thoughts influence the words I say to myself and other people. And when I say those words enough times, they solidify as beliefs. The only way I'm going to take action enough to build trustworthy habits is when I truly believe something. And those habits are what create my reality. I've been working on my mindset a lot over the last six months, and I'm finding that an abundant mindset allows me to take confident, consistent action. A scarcity mindset leads to fear and can paralyze your efforts to take action. I think something that helped me loosen the hold of a scarcity mindset over time was to allow my curiosity to be bigger than my fear. Rather than ruminating on all the things that could go wrong, I imagined what it could look like if things went right, which by the way, is an equally probable outcome. I also stopped trying to avoid obstacles and stopped seeing them as problems when I did encounter them. The book, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday helped me a lot with this. An abundance mindset leads me to say things to myself like, you can't possibly anticipate today the opportunities that will present themselves tomorrow. That might sound obnoxiously optimistic, but it's totally true. Landing this job as your host of Optimal Finance Daily is a great example of life throwing me a bone. I never anticipated I would be doing this, and I didn't seek out a position as a podcast host. It was just one of those opportunities that presented itself, and my abundance mindset guided me to jump on it. This podcast has become a huge source of joy for me, and I can only hope that you, dear listener, are getting as much out of this as I am. And that should do it for today. Have a happy rest of your day and a great weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll see you on the Sunday show tomorrow, where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits.